So when individual factors like this go on, it has huge implications for how college campuses and universities really um, think about orientation or information dissemination. Um, and it also helps us to think about mental health literacy that students bring um, when they come to us. So by virtue of social capital, certain students are going to have a great awareness about exactly where to go, whom to see, when to seek them, um, at what level of symptoms they should go. They have a great mental health literacy when it comes to seeking help. For students of color, oftentimes, again, because this is therapy and counseling, psychology, all of these things um, in itself is a very Western concept um, based on middle and upper class. Uh, you can imagine how there's a disconnect in the way that students of color and many diverse groups are going to approach this. And so, um, but what's important is that research actually looks at, it, does it work? Does therapy and counseling and seeking help in these ways work for all sorts of people? And over and over again, research shows that it does. And so in that way, it means that we actually then need to raise the mental health literacy of our students and all students. Um, and mental health literacy really talks about whether a student can obtain, process, understand mental health information and services um, that's needed to make appropriate decisions. Are they and do they, um, are they armed with the information they need to be able to go and seek the help that they need um, in the manners that work for them? Um, and so it has a little bit to do with empowering. It also has a lot to do with creating a climate on your campus where going to seek help is okay. And that there isn't judgment about a people's racial group just because somebody within that group is going to seek help.